I'm Gabby and welcome back to Tailor Toned. You've made it to your 30 minute follow along barless bar workout. This one is completely equipment free today, but I would advise you have something to protect your knees. I've got a Pilates mat. If you've not hit subscribe, do that right now. Press the bell so you get a notification every single time I upload. Let's get straight into the workout. Let's align the body. Bring your feet underneath your hips. Toes are pointing forwards. Stacking your hips over the top of the ankles. Shoulders over the top of the hips. Bring your hands to a prayer. Roll those shoulders back, press them down. Pull the belly button in. And we're gonna to start to go to your knee lifts. So we go up, lift, lift, lift. So taking a bend through the knees, bringing the toes in front of yourself. Starting off with a super traditional bar move. Go up and up. If you wanna go there, option to turn out the legs, take that balletic influence. Don't worry if it doesn't feel good, turn back in. You're gonna reach your hands to the side, open through the heart, shine the heart forward, roll the shoulders back with them down. You have eight, seven, six, you've got five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Bring yourself so you've got enough room to roll out into a plank. You're gonna bring your chin to your chest, roll down through the body, let's mobilize the spine, walk into a plank, hold it, and then walk back in. Bend the knees, drop the coccyx to the floor, roll all the way up. Chin to chest, find length through the back of the neck, really mobilize through the spine. So all those segments, all those vertebrae, they get a little bit of engagement, a little bit of a roll out. Roll all the way up as you drop down into your plank. I want you to make sure you've got good form. The hands come under the shoulders, the abs pull in, belly button to the spine. Walk the hands in, bend the knees, drop the sit bones to the floor, roll all the way in. This time you're gonna hold it, bring the chin to the chest. Let's walk the hands into a plank, and then you're gonna hold here. Hands up underneath the shoulders. Now step the inner thighs together. Modification here, if this is too much for you, don't worry, just drop onto the knees, but make sure you've got one straight line now down to the knees. Keep up here if you're in that advanced version. Nice deep breath, inhale in, exhale away. Eye line is between your fingertips here. Now you wanna just have a play around with your shoulder girdle. So think, sink into the shoulders while the chest to drop down. And then you're gonna pull out as high as you can through the shoulder girdle, middle of the back to the ceiling. Now find about, find about your halfway point. If your hips are ducking down, you can feel it in the lumbar spine. Tuck the hips under, or lift the hips high away from the floor. Inhale, exhale, you've got this. Heels are floating over the top of your toes. You should feel this burn in your abs, in your shoulders. This is a great core strengthener. Now you're gonna bring your right knee into the chest. Turn the leg out, down, push back, other leg in, turn out to the floor. So the knee, it comes into the chest, turns out to the side, comes back in again. Turn out, down, push back, right leg in, turn out to the floor, push back. Now keep breathing, inhale in, exhale away. We're gonna be doing this for a few more seconds. So take your island to the floor, bringing the knee in, turn out, turn down, push back, in, turn out, you've got this, I know you can, push back, two more, in, turn out, turn down, push back, one more, in, turn out, turn down, push back, now bring your left knee into the chest, and then you're gonna lower this knee to the floor, and then kick the other leg, so your right leg, in towards an all fours position. Donkey kick. Squeeze it in for two. Push up and lift. Inhale, squeeze it in. Exhale, push and lift. So I'm gonna warm up your booty in the warm up section today. Hip bones, they're both pointing down to the floor like headlights of a car. Make sure they're pointing down to the floor. Now don't sit into your supporting hip. The support inside of your body is pushed up against a glass pane, a brick wall. It's in one straight alignment, you've got this. Now single, let's do it. Go in, lift up, go in, lift up. So find stabilizing strength through the shoulders, through the arms, through the abs. The top of the body is not moving. Find the stabilizing strength and just work your glute. Inhale in. 
exhale away. You've got this four, three, hips to the floor, two. Now last one, you're gonna lift and hold. Extend this leg all the way out. Tuck the toe under, bring your right knee back into the chest, I know. Turn this leg out, down to the floor, push back. Into those same repetitions, to the floor and push. In, turn out, turn down. I know it burns, booty burner, core burner. I should be on fire right now, turn out. Turn down, push back. Now bring your right knee into the chest. Other side, lower the knee down to the floor. Kick that heel in, lift leg up. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, push and lift. Inhale, bring it in. I appreciate your wrist might start to burn now. You can do this, not long left to go. Inhale, squeeze it in. Exhale, lift it up on the beat. In, up, in. And up, I was gonna say in and out, shake it all about then. We go in, don't shake it all about, make it controlled, make it precise. Think of those Pilates and Prince principles that are combined into the bar technique. It's controlled, it's done with precision. Every movement has meaning. Inhale, exhale, you've got three. Let's go, two. Last one, now keep the leg high. Extend through the leg, tuck the toe under. Press the feet back into a plank. Give the wrists a rest and drop back down into a forearm plank. You've got this. Nice deep breath, inhale in, exhale away. Same as before, modification. If you can't quite get your forearm plank, lower the knees to the floor, bring the toes in. Squeeze the abs in, put on those skinny jeans, the tightest pair of jeans that you own. Now do up the button, do up the zipper. That will engage your transverse abdominals, your pelvic floor. Squeeze everything in. We've got this, we're in it together. Option, stay here. Further option advancement. Right knee taps, left knee taps. Just tap opposite knees to the floor. Let's do it, tap and tap. Now as you tap the knees, Take your energy, your thought into your hip bones. Don't let the hips move. Tap, tap the knees, tap and tap, tap, tap. You got this, you just got eight, seven, six, push back in five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Quick child's pose. Push the hips backwards, reach the hands forward. Roll up through the spine, come into a kneeling position. Face towards me, spread those hands nice and long. Now roll the shoulders back and down. Back and down, shoulders, just the shoulders. Back and down, roll back down. So it's like you're drawing a complete circle with the shoulder. Back and down, now pull the abs in, grow nice and tall off your knees. The crown of the head is growing to the ceiling, elongate through the body. Two more. Back and down, one more arm section. Now the arms, they're gonna go back and hold. Back and hold, now don't let the shoulders move now. It's just those arms, back and hold, we've got this. Now nice deep breaths, inhale in, exhale away. Your arm section is three minutes long today. We're in it together, we're gonna burn and shake. Back and hold, two more, back and hold. One more, back and hold, now stay there. The fingertips go. Forward hold, forward hold. So it's like you're running your fingertips on the hands of a clock and you're sending it back in time. We go back and hold, back to the future, back and hold. Weird analogy, never used that one before, it just came to my brain. If that works for you, fabulous. Back and hold, back and hold. Two, back and hold. One more, you know what's coming, the shoulders go round back forwards. Woo! That burns. Round back forwards. Round back forwards. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Round back forwards. You've got it. Two more. Don't jump out. Last one. Now hold here. Extend through the fingertips. Little tiny. Bend and reach. Bend, reach. Bend, reach. Now imagine you one of those those things that you had as a kid or maybe you've got children they have them you know those jelly bodies and you can stretch them out really really long like you can pull them really long imagine your arms are that right now imagine your arms are plasticine and i'm pulling them stretching them as long as possible 
Inhale, exhale, you've got 45 seconds left. Yes, of this, I know. You've got it, we can do it. Roll the shoulders into your back pocket, squeeze the shoulders away from your ears, create as much distance as you can from your ears to your shoulders, and reach those fingertips nice and long, mind over matter. You are strong enough, you can do this, we can do anything, Ben Reach. Ben Reach, you've got 20 seconds. What is 20 seconds in your lifetime? It's nothing, it's minute, it's miniature. Commit to it. Let's get those better arms. You have a final 10, nine, eight, let's go. Seven, six, five, four, it's done in three, two, one. Okay, you're gonna lower down to your left side. So mirror me, bring the forearm to the floor, left forearm to the floor. Now stack the knees in front of yourself, 90 degree angle, lift the top leg off, deli slicer, C section. Bring the knee in, exhale, push away. Bring the knee in, exhale, push away. So you're gonna think about your setup, think about the movement. This forearm is down to the floor, elbows underneath the shoulder, pulling your abs away from the floor. So this is great for strengthening up your obliques, the side of the waist, trimming it down, giving you an hourglass figure, as well as toning that seat, working the booty, trust me, they're both gonna burn. Press away. Now the underneath leg, the base of support, it needs to be in a 90 degree angle. So that's my choreography today. The knee is in front of the knee. If you've got it round to the side like a clamshell, that's fine, but that will be a little bit more modified. So just make sure you've got the knee in front of the knee. Inhale in, exhale, push away. The higher, I'm <coughs> choking myself up. The higher this leg goes, the more intense it's gonna be. Bring it in. Exhale, push it out. Three more, inhale in. Woo. Exhale, push to the side, two more. Inhale in. Exhale, push it out, one more. Inhale, breathe it in. Exhale, push to the side. Now hold there, flex the foot, turn the toe down. The heel's gonna push up to the ceiling. Let's go, lift, lift, oh my gosh. Lift, we've got this. Now keep pushing to the forearm, keep driving that forearm into the floor, keep pulling up waist. Open away, inhale in, exhale away. You've got this 10, nine, drive the heel up, and seven, and six, and five. Let's go, four to the change, three, two, one. Bring the knee over the top of that knee up in front. Close, open, close on the beat. We go down, lift. Make it more challenging for yourself. Don't tap the knees. If you're thinking, Gabby, this is way too easy for me, I'm feeling like Superman today, add resistance here with his top leg. So you wanna close, squeeze it up, press something heavy to the ceiling. Woo, who's burning? Close. Don't stop. Four. Three is burning me too. Two. Last one, now you're gonna lift and hold. Options, stay here for the modification challenge. Shoot the leg forward, I know, top hand lifts. Now add a little tiny up and up with the toe, up. You've got this, just go 10, nine, can I do it? Yes, I can. You have six, five, four, three, two, one. Ha! Other side, we don't have time to rest. We've got to switch it up, other side. Bring the forearm to the floor. You're gonna bring the legs in front of yourself here. 90 degree angle. Hand comes in front, lift the leg. Inhale in. Exhale, push. Inhale in. Exhale, push. Squeezing it in. Pushing away. Now try something with the heel as heavy as you can. So when you really don't like push them away. Inhale in. Exhale, push. So it's like you're bringing your knee in. Breathe in the positivity. Press away all the hate, all the negativity you have. Inhale in. Exhale, push. We've got this. Three more of these. Pushing out to the side. Two more. Bring it in. To the side. Let's go. One more. Out to the side and hold. Turn the toe down. Little tiny. Lift. 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 Imagine you've got a piece of string on your heel.
on this, point it up to the ceiling. So if you want this a little bit more modified, take the foot back to a level position. If you want it to work harder, get more in towards that booty, you want to give me everything you've got today. Drive the heel to the ceiling, lift, lift, let's go. You've just got six, five, four, run it together, three, I'm burning two, two, one, now bring the knee into the other knee. We're gonna go close, up on the feet, inhale, exhale. Use the breath to help you. Now don't forget about the upper body, don't collapse down through the upper body. You're building shoulder endurance, muscular endurance through the shoulder because that is still, but you should be pulling up and out of it as well. Working the waistline, pulling the waist away from the floor. Inhale, exhale. Challenge, don't let the knees touch. Now imagine you've got spring here in between your knees. You're gonna squeeze it down and push something heavy up. Inhale, exhale, let's do this. Woo, four, I can't speak when it really burns. Three, you've just got two. One, lift it, hold it, we can do this. I know we can, float the legs up. Now option one is here, just stay right here. Option two, if you want to work a little bit harder, shoot the top hand to the ceiling and you're going to go ahead, extend this top leg out in front of yourself and we're going to pulse it up, up. Oh my gosh, I can't keep that hand there, sorry, because it's so much. We go, lift, woo! You have, just let's do it, 10, nine, eight, you've just got seven, over and four, three, two, one. <laughs> Lifting up, I shouldn't really cry. Okay, thighs, real quick thigh set, bring the toes together, open through the knees. You're gonna bring the hands together, hip thrusts. We go down, lift, down, lift. So you keep going, you stay there, I'm just gonna demo from the front. So keep moving from the front. The knees are open in a V position, the hips sink down, and then lift up. As you lift up, I want you to squeeze your together at the top. This one is great for lengthening the thighs, toning those quads. Your quads are like four group of muscles in the front of your thigh here. Let's tone them. Now we're gonna shake and burn together. We've got this nice deep breath. Bring those hands to a prayer. Now you're gonna need that mind-body connection in just a second, because it's gonna burn, but think of all the good. Think of that shaking and burning of a, as a sign of getting a brand new body. So commit to the shake and the burn. One of the key things about bar, you do get an uncontrollable shake, so if you shake, don't drop out. Embrace it. Embrace the shake. Four. Three. Okay, two. Now last one, lower the hips to the heels. Now sit your hips literally two inches away from your heels. The further you incline forwards, the easier it is. The harder we bow go backwards, the harder it is. Now add a little tiny tuck. Shake those hips and I know. Woo! At this point, I need a mind body connection. I need to breathe. We go a little tuck now, option here. Throw the hands to the ceiling. Further option, give me everything for the last 10 pulses. We're gonna go there. If it feels okay for you, incline back, let's keep pulsing. 10 more tucks, nine, eight more tucks, seven, six, five more tucks, four, we need that, there's three, climb back, two, one. Whew. Lower down onto the chest. You're gonna bring your left heel to your left glute. Bring the knee in. You should get a thigh stretch. Other side, bring the knee in, inhale, exhale. Okay, you're gonna lift up now onto the forearms. Mirror me, tuck the toes under, forearm plank. Squeeze the boots together. Modification, drop the knees down, pull the toes in. I want you to rotate your right fingertips to the left elbow. Roll to me. Reach the hand high into a side plank. Modification of this, underneath the knees down to the floor, top leg extended. Push the hips up. Now lift this hip 
up, 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 up. So it's like you've got a piece of string on your hip and it's driving to the ceiling. Shoulders are stacked on top of one another. You're shining your heart forwards towards me on the computer, on the phone, on the tablet, whatever you are right now, on the TV, shine the heart forwards towards me. You have just eight, seven. I know it's a tough class. You've got it. Six, five, you've got four, holding three, two, one. Now hold there, drive this hip up to the ceiling, hips are stacked, abs are pulled in. You're developing yourself an hourglass figure, drawing the waist in. You have seven, six, center in five, in four, center in three, in two, in one. Now come back onto your forearm plank. If you want them in the modification, drop the knees to the floor. Plank one beautiful straight line from the crown of the head to the heels. Now rotate, left fingertips to right elbow. Roll away, reach the hand high. Doesn't matter that you're rolling away from me. You know what to do. Modification, lower the underneath knee down. Now let's lift, lift wherever you are. I want you to boogie on with those hips up to the ceiling, to the ceiling. You should feel it here, into your waist to the side. That's your internal and external obliques firing up. Developing shoulder stability as well, getting stronger shoulders, working all down the side of the body, developing strength in the side of the body. Go six, five, center in four, forearm plank in three, in two, one. Now change it up, back to a forearm plank. We can do this. We got 25 seconds of a forearm plank hold. Now squeeze your inner thighs together. Shoulders are stacked over the top of those elbows. Your eye line is in between your fingertips. Don't let the head fall to the floor. Keep a straight line, now squeeze your glutes together. Pull your belly button towards your back. You have eight, seven, six, you've got five, four, three, lower down in two, one, well done. Push the hips backwards, quick child pose. Then roll it up, flip onto your back. So straight away roll onto your back, down to the floor. We're gonna go in towards a flat back position, Pilates inspired. Bring the hands around the outside of the hips. Lift one leg to a tabletop, other leg to a tabletop. Now touch the inner thighs together and stay there. So get yourself the perfect setup. It is really key to get the perfect setup to get the maximum burn and benefit from this. Knees over the top of your hips. Toes, you shouldn't be able to see them and they should be in line with your knees. Like you've got your legs hooked around the side of a square cardboard box. Hands go down to the floor. Now pull the belly button down to the mat. I want you to imprint your spine now. So the lower spine is imprinted to the floor. Inhale in. Exhale through pierced lips. Inhale, breath in. Exhale through pierced lips. Should feel that connection. Now pull the ribs together. Close those ribs together. Squeeze the navel down. Breathe, inhale in. Exhale, tap your right toe down and lift back into a tabletop position. Inhale, exhale, left toe taps down. Lift back into a tabletop position again. Remember, you've got that 90 degree angle through your legs throughout. Every time you lower the leg down, you should feel it in those abdominals. This is a great core exercise. Developing here your transverse abdominals, your transverse abs are the deepest layer of abdominal muscle that you've got. Your core, squeeze it down. Squeeze all the way up and lift. Lowering down, we can do this. Bring it back up again. You've got three more of these to go. Up and lift. Two more, low back down. Up and lift. One more, lower down. Now up and lift, stay there. Knees over the top of the hips. You're gonna send your right toe to the ceiling. You're gonna lower this leg all the way down. Lift it back up. Other leg, all the way down. Lift it back up again. So you're finding strength as well here. You're toning hip flexors. We go, toe to the ceiling, lower down. Bring it back up again. We go, lower down. 
So we're gonna be doing this for a couple of seconds. So maybe take the eye line to the ceiling, find the beat and the music, lift it back up. We go, extend, drop down. Replace it in. We go, extend, drop down. Woo, replace it in, so this is great as well. So work on your lower abdominals every time you push the leg to the floor. Drive something heavy down. When you bring the leg to the floor, don't let your spine bridge out. You're not a bridge, you're imprinting the spine to find the perfect connection. Inhale, bring it in, let's go. Three more here, Woo. bring it back in. Two more here, bring it back in. One more, we go, low down. And bring it in, now stay there. Squeeze, connect your inner thighs together as tight as you possibly can. Now flex the heels, point the toes. Flex the heels, working in towards your ankle joints. Flex the heels, now point the toes. Option, if you're feeling strong enough, you can always float the hands up and away from the floor. Flex the heels, point the toes. You've got this, inhale in. It'll start to be getting really challenging now in your abs. If you can feel it in the lower spine, remember, you're pressing your lumbar spine into the mat. So make an imprint in your mat. Imagine your mat, it's a roll of plasticine. You're trying to leave your imprint of your spine on the mat. We go, point the flex the feet, oh, point it out. Two more, flex the feet, point it out. Now stay here, option one. You're just gonna reach the hands backwards, join me. Inhale in, option two, we can do it. Extend the legs and the arms. So choose your option. Is that one? Is that two? Where are you up to today? And don't forget, this video is gonna be available forever. So you can always redo this video. You can always redo it tomorrow. You can do it the day after. You can do it in a month's time. Maybe see how much stronger you've got as you take the video a couple of times. Inhale. Exhale, the lower those legs go, the harder it's gonna be. I'm shaking, you've got two more here. Bring it back in. Now, last one, you're gonna hold it, imprint your spine, remember. Lengthen the legs, lengthen the arms, start to cross the legs. We go, change, change, change. Modification, fingertips come back towards the ceiling. If this is too tough, want it more advanced, drop those legs down, three, two, one. Woo! Straight away, roll onto your front. 50 seconds to the back center. I intended for one minute, but it's okay. Fingertips reach to the toes. Inhale. Exhale, fingertips go to toes. Bring it back down to the floor. Inhale. Exhale, reach fingertips to toes. Now switch off the glutes. Switch off the legs. Maybe pigeon toe the feet. Reach the hands back. Low back down. Two more. We go. Lift it up. One more, lift and hold. Now stay there. You're gonna reach the hands forwards. Elongate through the body. Eye line to the floor, squeeze the elbows together, reach forward. Squeeze, reach the hands, squeeze, reach, squeeze, reach. So your upper body is off the floor, your toes, they are pigeon toes to switch off the glutes. You're strengthening up your back here. So many people when they're working out, they forget all about your back. Everyone sees your back. Go squeeze. Reach one more. Reach, well done. <sighs> Just stay on your front for a little second. Inhale the breath in. Exhale the breath away. Relax everything. Bring the hands around the shoulders. Push up from the hands. Lift the sit bones up and then push them back. We're gonna take a child's pose. Open the knees, so the knees go open. Your legs, they're in the letter V. The chest goes forwards, the hands reach forwards. Inhale in, exhale away. Now keep the hips pushed backwards. Your right fingertips, if you're mirroring me, your right fingertips go underneath your left armpit. Roll the shoulders to the floor. Now I might mic off. If it does, I apologize. So the shoulder blade comes to the floor, this other hand is still reaching forward, so it's great on the shoulders. It was great on the hips. Back through the centre. Now you're going to send your left fingertips underneath your right armpit. 
press the chest to the floor and hold there. Just allow the hips to sink down, loop any tension you're holding. And inhale in, exhale away, well done. Then from here, lift it up. We're gonna take a puppy pose. So now bring the knees and the toes in alignment. So you've got a straight line from your knees to your toes. Puppy pose, bring the hands forwards, then drive the hips to the ceiling and allow the chest to come down. So the knees, the toes, they're in alignment like train tracks. Press the chest to the floor, bring the head to the floor. Reach the arms forward. You should feel the stretch through the chest, through the hips, into the glutes, maybe into the hamstrings, all down the back of the leg basically, into the posterior chain, all those muscles in the back of the body. And then carefully and slowly lift it up in towards a little all fours position. Knees underneath your hips, hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes under, find a downward dog. Push the heels to the floor, drive the hips high. Allow the heels to sink to the floor. Now lengthen through the calves, lengthen through the hips. You wanna find your body in an upside down V now. Maybe close the eyes, take this time to lose any tension you've got and just focus on your own body. Focus on just finding a downward dog, that's all that matters right now is just finding your perfect downward dog. And then reaching your hands in towards your feet, walk the hands in, take a little bend through the knees, stay there and then extend through the knees. Inhale the breath in. Take a tiny little miniature bend through the knees. Drop the body lower and then as you extend, try to keep that lower position with the body. One more. Take a bend through the knees, drop the head lower, drop further down through the arms. Inhale, exhale, extend behind the back of the legs. And then bend the knees, drop your coccyx, your sacrum to the floor and start to slowly roll up through the vertebrae, rolling through the shoulders. The head is the final thing to come up. Stepping yourself just to the center of wherever you are. Give yourself a little shoulder roll around. Give yourself a little shoulder roll around. Shake off the body. Ready to get back into everyday life. Final breath in. Final breath exhale. And well done in your Taylor Tone class today. I hope you absolutely loved that one. Every time I do that deli slice on the floor, I feel like I'm about to die. <laughs> It's so painful. Who else feels the same way? Drop me a comment down below. Let me know how you found it. If you'd like to see anything else, let me know down below. Hit that subscribe button for more workouts from me and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.